Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Beda. Beda is from Iran, but he lives in Copenhagen in Denmark. So let's see what Beda has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Hello. How are you? Are you good? Oh, I'm very well. How are you? I am good, thank you. I just finished my clients in the gym. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So now I'm sitting and talking to you. How's life over there? Very good, yes. Um, um, is her name Be Beta? Yes. Beta. Beta. Yeah, Beta. it's a Persian name, yeah. I see. Okay, Beta. So before we start the game, tell me where are you from? I am originally Persian, but I've been living in Copenhagen, Denmark for like almost 30 years. Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And what do you do for a living? I am a personal trainer now. So, but I used to teach sales uh -huh. for a very long time. I used to work in uh, retail for right. almost uh, 25 years. Okay. Teaching different kind of companies and different staff how uh -huh. to sell products, which Amazing. was pretty really interesting, but I wanted to try something else. So, hey. Yeah. What, what, what do you like the most about being a personal trainer? You know, uh, the people that I'm actually, you know, the quick results, I like that. And you see people's happiness right after we are done with the gym. I like to be able to like, you know, have a connection with the people I'm actually working with okay. and see, see the joy after the training and see that actually my exercise is doing something good for them. Amazing, very Ooh. interesting. I like that, okay. Yeah. Okay, Beda, so welcome to William and the Magic Box. So I've got this Thank box you. here full of random fun questions, okay? I'm just gonna play a music before the first question. Are you ready? Uh, uh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Bye. Ready for the first question? I am ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. So the first question is, um, which question you wouldn't have an answer for? Which question I wouldn't have an answer for? Uh, is it the uh, life after death? Good one, actually. Very good one. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have an answer for it either. I think no one had an answer for no. it. <laughs> It's a no, very good one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Let's go for the second one. Let's, let's do, do it. that. Before the next question, tell me what's the best and the worst of living in Copenhagen? The climate is definitely the worst because it's so cold. Eight months a year, I would say but everything else is actually beautiful. I love being in Denmark. There isn't anything I would put finger on that I would say there's something wrong with it. People are friendly. They are all very good at treating each other. You know, people are very well educated. Uh -huh. so I like that, yeah. So uh, it's home, it's home. Right, cool. Let's go for the next question. Next question Let's is, what is your funniest memory of a date that you had? The fondest memory of a date, uh, it was actually when I got invited as a surprise thing and uh, all my favorite food was on the table without me noticing that the guy has actually made the research Amazing. about what I wanted to eat and what I lacked and everything. So the, the preparation of it was so amazing that I like seriously, I couldn't say no. I and mean, we were together for 15 years. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he got you. He they got, got you from, from they the got for the food. <laughs> By the food, black person, people like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing, that's yeah. amazing. That amazing. I, can, yeah. I can see the hearts going out of your head. Like, it was all amazing, the hearts, like... all, all my favorite food, all the desserts, everything was on the table. I was like, you know, how did you figure that out, you know? It was oh. the first day, but it was, yeah, it was awesome. It was oh, awesome. that's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. Let's go for another question. Let's do that. Okay, next question. 
question. Oh. Right. And when was the last time that you cried and why? Uh, you know, uh, I'm not that emotional, but last time I cried was actually a couple of days ago because one of my friends was actually very sad. So it made me kind of sad, you know, but I don't cry in public and I like to do my crying. So when I get sad, I do that privately, you know, okay. because I was brought up to be, uh, all right, you don't cry. Not because, you know, this is not something you do uh, in front of other people. So, yeah, but it was because my friend was kind of sad. So that was it. Oh, that's cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's get another question. All right, let's do it. Next question is, um, what's your idea of a perfect friendship? A perfect friendship is, uh, you know, honestly, it's trust, I would say, all the way through, and make sure that, you know, people are getting treated with respect. Okay. It's all about having the respect for each other's privacy, understanding, you know, that's you know, and giving each other space and being there when people are needed. I see. You know? Yeah. True. That's, Absolutely. That's the perfect friendship, I would say, for me. You know, yeah, you know, friends are the family you choose to have around you. That's you know? true. So treat them as you would with any family members. Hopefully everybody has good families, yeah? <laughs> great, great. <Yeah. laughs> Let's get another question. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Next question. Let's um, go. What makes you feel discouraged? What makes me feel discouraged? Um, my parents not approving what I do. Tell me about it. Uh, you know, uh, uh, my parents have been my rocks all the time. Uh, so uh, if they don't prove it, anything, I would definitely, because I have a, I'm a daredevil anyways, you know, even though I'm kind of old, but I still look up to my parents, but I'm not even kidding you. If they say something, I would do it anyways, but I wouldn't do it 100%. I get very quickly discouraged if they say, this is not the right way to do because they have actually done a lot of things that I would look at as a positive thing. Mm, so, that's interesting, very interesting. So I have a lot of dialogue with uh, my family members uh, and I take the word very seriously. Uh -huh. Do you have brother and sister as well? I have a twin brother and I have a bigger sister. You have a twin brother? I have a twin brother. Is, is him like a like monster like you? He looks exactly like me. And if we were sitting right down here, he would say he's the pretty one. <laughs> he kind of <laughs> looks similar, yeah? <laughs> and he's gay as well or not? No, he's straight. You know, we are mirror twins, you know? He calls mirror twins. So I think it's one out of 10,000 twins that become like us. So I'm left-handed, he's right-handed, uh, you know, uh, I'm much more into like, you know, art, he's much more into sport compared to I am. Uh, he's straight, I'm gay, etc, etc. So we are totally opposite. Together we would be a perfect person, yeah? Oh my god, yes, imagine. But, yeah, crazy, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of debates and discussion about different kinds of things, but again, good friends. That's yeah. amazing. He lives in Copenhagen as well? He lives in Copenhagen with his girlfriend and his two kids. Oh my god, so, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, and my sister is living with her husband and uh, with their son. Uh -huh. Also in Copenhagen, so yeah. Great. We're all here. Happy family, very happy family, I can see. Very we happy. are happy, we are happy. Good. Parents good. did a good job with us. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Let's get another question. Let's do that. If you could go back in time, in one moment, in your moment in your life, which, which uh, what that would be and why? I would go uh, right before I was born, and I would say to my family, like my parents, don't take everything so seriously because there is a reason why we refuge to Copenhagen. Yeah. 
Uh, so I would say to them, don't take everything so seriously. Remember, live for yourself and not for others. Easy. Wow. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Very good one. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah. You do change a lot of things, isn't it? You change a lot yeah. of things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, better. Let's get another question. Sure. Let's do that, sir. Just before the next question, um, what's uh, what's the biggest, uh, let's say, the most memorable lesson you learned from your partner? Oh, there is a lot. I can just choose one. Uh, I am just the way I'm supposed to be. Okay. He accept the way you are. Just be who you are. Not necessarily accept who you are because then you won't develop. You okay. Know, because yes. there's so much more. But so I am good the way I am. Either looks or whatever, and there isn't anything wrong with anything. I am just the way I'm supposed to be. And so are you, sir. Good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. Next question is uh, who do you count the most for help? I will call my ex uh, through 15 years. He's my best of friends today. Oh, wow. So yeah, I would definitely call him for help because I can uh, I can trust him with my life, and I would say he would do the same with me. And we are best of friends today. We have known each other for 26 years, and we talk every single day. So he's definitely the get a person to go. Amazing! Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's very sweet that you guys still keep in touch and have this good yeah, bond definitely. together. That's amazing! That's amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. Next question. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Before the next question, how is being gay in Copenhagen? It's it's <laughs> open-minded people, very open. Everybody's open-minded here. Yeah. You know? uh, we don't have that many fanatic people here, which mm -hmm. is uh, which is pretty awesome. But you know, people doesn't have time to think about who you are sleeping with. Great. You know? Because uh, in the end, everybody's uh, living their own life, you know, so they don't have time to sit and think about, okay, who is that guy sleeping with? They don't judge, people are not that judgmental here, which I love. That's, okay. but you know, about being gay, it has nothing to do with which city you are in, it's about uh, which family you are brought in, I would say, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we all are going to be a little bit different because we have a uh, secret, all of us, you know, we have been through the same situation, thinking about why am I gay, am I wrong, am I bad, because we all get from the societies that, you know, gay is not good and everything, you know. So uh, if you don't have parents that's understanding because your parents knows you better than you do, you know. Totally, totally. So, uh, so if you don't have parents to support you, you know, you would definitely turn that against the society and say that's the society's fault where everything yeah. needs to come from, uh, from within, you know? Uh, remember, you are not the only one that shares the secret, yeah? Totally, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Next question is, yes, next sir. question. Um, what is the silliest thing that you post online? Today, uh, with one of my uh, uh, customers, did a lot of leg training today, so that was the Thing that I posted online, yeah. <laughs> well, the silliest. But Instagram much, much more than I do Facebook, but on Instagram, yeah. <laughs> Let's do another question. Go. So. Okay. Love the music. Go. You like it. <laughs> right. Um, what season you feel more connected with and why? Summer. I love heat. I love sun. I think sun is uh, it's the most important thing in my life. Yeah, I like everything that's warm. Uh -huh. Each season has its own uh, beauty, definitely. Yeah, definitely, I, yeah. Uh, I do a lot of traveling, especially during the winter time. You know, trying to get away from uh, the cold. But I miss it when I'm actually in some place where it's very hot. Like you know, when I go to Thailand and different kind of places, I do miss the snow and I miss the cold and everything, but definitely summer. I don't know it's, why. I... It's your birthday uh, around summertime or not? 
actually my board uh, my birthday is 14th of february so this is a valentine's day so it's around the winter time oh, yeah but, but yeah <laughs> yeah no but, I'm, i'm asking that because once somebody told me that um um you feel very connected with the season the year uh the season that you were born and um so i thought maybe because you like so much summer i thought maybe you were born in summer as well but i wish that could be that because you know <laughs> there isn't any connection with me and winter at all <laughs> it's funny because for me it works well because my birthday is uh, um in autumn in november yeah. and i yeah, love yeah. the i love I, i mean of course I, maybe because i come from a hot country so i don't miss yeah. the hot the heat that much maybe that's but, it. Yeah, it could be that as well, but I feel very connected with Autumn. I love this. Oh, it's the oh, color yeah. and everything. But don't, don't misunderstand me. Each season has zones. Understand, of yeah. course. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Understand, Lord. Yeah. Understand that very well. Yeah. Another question. Let's, let's do it. go. Let's go. It's you like start dancing a little bit, like right? getting the mood. Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> Right. Um, what motivates you the most in life? Me. Tell me about it. You know, uh, I can do what I want to do, and my motivation is me. When I see something, I, you know, I'm I'm a person who like quick results. You know, I like to see quick results because that's motivating me. You know, mm -hmm. and I do myself as a project. So, uh, so when I see that I can fulfill this piece, it motivates me to go to the next piece. So I am the only motivation in my life. That's very interesting. I love the answer. Wow, wow, very good, very good. Yeah. Three questions left. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Question is, um, if you could be an animal, which animal would be and why? If I could be an animal, I would love to be a fish. Why is uh, that? And because first of all, you have the ocean. You know, it's so unexplored. I love that. And second of all, you know, you don't get wasted if you are getting eaten or anything. It's because there is a purpose about it. You know. You know, you have everything down there, you know, you know all the secrets, you are just there to enjoy the moment you have, and that's about it. Amazing. It's free as well. We are free. It's free. Just free it's the ocean. Free. Wow. <laughs> and I don't care which fish it is, you know, but I just want to be a fish. Great. Great answer. Two questions left. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get another question. What's the most beautiful thing someone has done for you? I would again say my parents sacrificing their life for me to have a better life down here. Mm -hmm. amazing. That's so amazing. Like, you know, they refused from their own country, from their family, from everything for me to have a better life here. So that's, it can't get more beautiful than that. That's so true. That's so and, true. And every single day I get up, I'm like, you know, I owe my parents to be happy. So I'm happy. Great. <laughs> good son. You are a good son. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Last question. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm ready. Let's I'm ready. do it. You, by the way. Not yet. A lot of people think I kind of look Brazilian. You well, could would, be, you yeah, could be, like I for real. It's top on the list. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something. If you go to Brazil, if you go to Rio de Janeiro, you're not gonna go back, I'm afraid. No. Because people over there, they look at their body like, you can imagine. I come from the north, northwest, like two hours from Rio. And um, I lived in Rio de Janeiro for six months in 2007. And I'll tell you something, people over there, like they literally look up their bodies like better than anyone else in the world I've ever seen, like the, the whole epic, you know, it's, I think the weather, I remember when I arrived in Rio, I was, I was in Panama Beach, one of the very well known, 
And I remember going to the, I said, okay, I'm gonna go for a walk in the beach very early morning, so I'm not gonna see so many people. And I went like five o'clock in the morning and was crowded. I couldn't believe, like people were like working out, doing some exercise and everything, like elderly people as well. And I couldn't believe, even for a Brazilian person, like, oh my God, what's that? People, they look after themselves like, yeah, Rio de Janeiro is somewhere. Yeah. You and sold it. I'm going. <laughs> and I saw some fear as well that I never seen anywhere else in the world. You know, there was like open, open gym in the, on the beach. I love that. I you can love imagine that. a proper open gym. There's like a proper gym set up with no walls. I'll imagine how you. it does for your soul at the same yeah. time as your body. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, dream coming true. Let's do the last question. Better. Let's do that. Let's do that. Is there a dream that you always had? Uh, a dream that I always had. I think I fulfilled everything. To be honest with you, I, I, you know, uh, you know, we, we all have some small goals, you know. But I wouldn't say that I haven't achieved my dream. I have been in a very good relationship. I have my parents around, uh, you know. Uh, so uh, no, not that many dreams, but small goals that I want to achieve. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's about it. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm not that kind of a person. But yeah. <laughs> okay, you're living your dream. That's it. You're living your dream right now. True, yeah. I'm living my dream. I'm living my dream right now. Okay, better. So now, now let's play now the quick thinking game. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to give away some words and just tell me one thing that comes to your mind. Okay, quick thinking. Right. I'm ready. Let's start with life. Lives. Life. Happiness. Okay, money. Contempt, love, many, family, number one, politics, not interested, sex, tall, religion, not interested, feel, oh sorry, fear, not having it, friendship, number two, desire, Everything. Regrets. None. A wish. Two. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, in the last one, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Yeah. Oh. Good. Okay. Now let's do. Uh, let's pretend now. I'm going to meet first. I'm going to meet three people in your life. Okay, because I can see you're very close to three people. Um, besides your parents, of course. I'm gonna, let's say I'm gonna have a coffee with your best friend who's had a relationship for a long time, and I'm gonna ask him, um, tell me the most beautiful thing about Beda and tell him something that he needs to improve on, something negative. What do you think he'll tell me? Uh, I think he would say about me the, 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 the best thing it's me making sure that everybody around me, especially him, is having a good time at the same time as I have. About okay. good time is enjoying the life at the moment that they are. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I don't want him, I think he would say that he doesn't feel unloved because I make sure that he knows that. Yeah. Okay. What he would say I should improve on is uh, stop talking so much in the morning. <laughs> 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 if I would if I would ask the same question to your twin bro twin brother, what he would uh, say? I think he would say the same about uh, me being a rock, making sure that everybody's loved. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I think he would say I should stop eating his food. <laughs> <laughs> How about the same question to your partner right now? What's he would say? He would say I should stop getting up in the middle of the night and eat food. <laughs> And he would say he's pretty happy that I can actually support him in anything. He he does a lot for uh, the human humanity. He does, he's a humanitarian. Okay. And he does a lot of work with that. And as I told him, he can go and save the world, and I will make sure that he's staying balanced. Hey, good yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> very good one. Very good one. Yeah. Okay, Beda, let's play now Beda in the magic box and you can okay. ask me a question, okay? All right, now, now I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, ready? please. Okay, I'm going to ask you the same question that you asked me. What would your partner say about you? A good thing and a bad thing? Wow, good one. Nobody asked me this question for me. I've done already 200 people worldwide and no one asked this question. See, there you go. 
Right. So I th I think they would say that uh, I'm a very very like approachable person, very positive person, like very approachable. And the negative one is very easy as well. I'm um, I'm an overthinker. I overthink too much things. Like sometimes can put me a little bit down. You know, I find myself in these moments like overthinking. And um, yeah, I think the negative would say that as well. And eating too much as well, because I eat a lot as well. I love I eating food. That's not a negative thing. I know. You it's know true. what it's supposed to be. You understand to say. me? You know what Honestly, I mean. You know. I, I'm totally on you're... the same page as you. So <laughs> don't put it on negative things. You know, living is eating. It's good, yeah, like, yeah. Actually, yes, actually. I was I was at work the other day, and I told my my colleague at work. I said to him, "Oh my God, I'm very greedy. I'm very greedy." He said to me, "William, don't say you are greedy. Say that you like your food. It sounds it looks better. It looks better. It looks Enjoy better." Enjoy the food. That's about it. Awesome, awesome. Dad, <laughs> did you have a good time? Did you enjoy the I experience? I had a great time. Thank you for your positivity. Positivity. Thank you for being who you are. Oh, and no, I thank... love the show, so it's so, awesome. Thank you, thank you so much you. for being so sweet. Thanks for being so open as well. Thanks so much thank for, for accepting my invitation. Just before you go, if you can share a positive message or a positive goal, anything that inspires you in life. Just make sure to know that, you know, uh, you know, we all have tried a lot of things, yeah? Again, the thing that I got from my previous ex, who is my best friend, is that you are how you are supposed to be. Look yourself in the mirror and just say, I am how I am supposed to be. And just enjoy who you are because you won't be able to live other people's life. So live your own, yeah? Hey, good one, very good one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, man. Thank, Thank you, much. you for it's having me. And, hey, and like, keep, keep in touch, I'll keep in touch, okay? For sure, for sure. All the bye, best. Bye-bye. Did you have a nice time? Enjoy the interview, William and the Magic Box. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, William and the Magic Box. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, just visit our website, www.williamandthemagicbox.com. Give a like, share the video, and see you tomorrow with another lovely interview. Bye-bye, see you tomorrow, bye.